Hey, I'm Brian Goulet of GouletPens.com. Today I want to give you a look at the Pilot Vanishing Point Limited Edition 2014 pen in copper. This is a special pen that Pilot does every year. They have a lot of different vanishing points in regular colors, but each year they come out with a special one that is a numbered limited edition, comes in a special box. It's a different color they've never offered before. Really kind of a neat thing. So this year is copper. Before I get into that though, I want to show you some of the previous limited editions. Last year was kind of a big deal because it was their 50th anniversary, so they kind of went all out, did this nice maple wood one in a box. It was super expensive, really kind of a cool pen, but it was really different than what they normally do. The previous year before that, what they did was charcoal marble, and it had kind of this neat little case. It was like this little belt buckle kind of thing, this kind of crackled finish. Um, and the pen itself was kind of this um, brown and tan swirl that was neat, uh, rhodium trim. All the pens come with uh, medium rhodium nibs. And then the year before that, I'm just showing off now because I have the pens, um, they did a pink one, so it's kind of neat. I actually really like this one. Uh, Rachel, this is her favorite pen. But this year, they're doing copper, and they changed the box up a little bit from what they've done, kind of that, you know, um, like purse belt looking thing. Um, this year they went with kind of more of a jewelry box look. So it is a numbered pen. Um, you can see I've got the number on the box, uh, the outer sleeve here, and then you pull it out and it's got the box. This one's kind of neat because it's got um, this nice little uh, copper piece here. It's got this copper embossing on the top. Really feels kind of like a, it's not leather, but it feels like a faux leather kind of thing. So really kind of a neat little presentation that it's got. Um, it's got, you flip this thing down in the front here and it pulls out this little tray for your cartridge, your cartridge cap, and your instructions. So definitely has got kind of a jewelry box feel to it. And then it's got the pen kind of resting in the case. And the pen definitely looks, well, it looks exactly like copper. I don't think it's real copper though, so I know I've gotten some questions actually about whether it's gonna tarnish or patina or anything like that. I don't think so. It's just a copper, you know, look to it. I don't think it's actually made of like solid copper. Part of the reason that people love Vanishing Points so much is it's a click retractable nib, which is pretty rare with a fountain pen. A lot of engineering has to go into it, especially because the nib has to stay wet. So it has to have this special little kind of trap door enclosure in there to keep it wet when you're not using the pen. But it's a great pen for work because you can just click it, write with it, and go. Very convenient, much more so than a twist cap or something like that. And everybody loves the way that these pens write. Personally, you know, I am a big fan of the Vanishing Point. It is a little weird because you have the clip, because of the retractable action, you have the clip that's up near the, the nib here. So the clip can get in the way for some people, but it's usually not that much of an issue, not as much as you might think. And Pilot's nibs are fantastic. They have a great reputation for the way their pens write. This particular pen is only coming with a medium nib, so you gotta stick with that. But you can swap it out if you want to. You just unscrew it, and it's got a nib unit here that you can always swap out if you have another one. It is a numbered limited edition, so on the center band, on the back, it has an engraving. I have number 1741 out of 2014. Every year they make the number that is that year. So this year they're only making 2014 pens worldwide. When it comes to inking up the pen, it's going to be the same as all other vanishing points. It's got a nib unit inside that you remove, and it's a cartridge converter. So you can use a cartridge with the cartridge cap, or you can use this converter in here to just draw ink up through the nib unit itself. The Vanishing Point Limited Edition is a little more expensive than the regular Vanishing Point. It has a list price of $240 in the US, and I'm selling it at GouletPens.com for $192. So if you like it, I would go ahead and move on it sooner than later because they are limited and they're not gonna be around forever. But if you have any questions about it, you can always leave me a comment on YouTube or on Ink Nouveau. Thanks so much for watching and right on.